This year, I decided I wanted to make everybody Christmas. So, I purchased the Silhouette Cameo 5. It's brand new on the market, and I also purchased with it the electrostatic mat. That is this long piece that you see in front of the machine. The reason for the electrostatic mat is that it allows you to cut objects without having to use the boards. I did not purchase the electrostatic mat right off the bat. I was using the boards. Let's discuss my first lesson. I was going through so many boards, and they are quite expensive, that I did the math and decided to purchase the electrostatic mat. I've been very pleased with the mat. However, it does not always hold tight, so you do have to sometimes tape it down. And you have to make sure that the tape sticks to the mat and doesn't slide out the back. Your first reaction when having your trouble cutting is going to be to say that your blade is wrong and just pull the blade and put a new blade in. Now, these blades are really expensive. And what I learned is there are a lot of troubleshooters on the web that you can find out for the Cameo 4. There's not many for the 5 yet, but for the Cameo 4 that will show you how to troubleshoot when you're having trouble cutting. The first thing that most of them show you is your blade and how to open it up and clean it. You have this little device that comes with your Cameo and you can just sit it on it and turn it and it'll open that blade up so that you can get all the debris out of it. If you actually lose that device, you can use a pair of pointed tweezers. You can uh, blow it out or use tape or anything that would uh, grab the de debris and bring it back out and clean that uh, housing. Then you screw it back on and you're good to go. And nine times out of ten, the problem is just the fact that the blade was all clogged up inside. Now let's discuss lesson three. As you start working with this, you're going to make mistakes. I mean, it happens to everybody. I was as careful as careful can be, and boy, did I make some doozy. But the thing is, you have to watch your machine. If you get paper stuck in it, or if it goes off the rail and the paper gets crooked in there and it starts hitting on the hitting on the metal, you need to stop it quick and then watch the machine because if it starts cutting funny, it's very likely that the machine is out of alignment. Now, this is, um, if the housing gets out of alignment, there's a little, you can see where my arrow is, there's a little hole down there. And that's where, when you turn the machine on to cut, it taps in there. And when it taps, it's setting the blade. And if it is off alignment, then it won't be able to set the blade. And the way that you solve this is you unplug the machine to where there's no power going to it. And then you gently move with your hand the carriage all the way over to the left. I mean to the right, excuse me, all the way over to the right then back to the left, do this three times, that's what they said on, online, and then leave it over on the right side, then turn it back on, and this will reset the carriage. It will go across and then reset itself. And that's very important because I've actually had to do it twice, but it does work. And finally, let's talk about our fourth lesson. When you purchase the machine, this is your standard setup. You have the machine, and then you have a little place that helps hold your board. This is what they call a board. Now, it has a covering on it that comes off. You put it to the side, and then the board itself is fairly sticky. And then what you do is you pick your vinyl, or whatever you're going to use, the vinyl will go face up. But if you can see here, it's not sticking enough to put into the machine. So you're going to have to tape it. Okay, this is what a board looks like when it is taped down. Now you would think that there wouldn't be a problem here because you actually take it, slide it in at the right position till you hit the rollers. Then you press the button and it will load it. Now when you go through, there is a chance, 
And it, it doesn't happen very often, but it did happen to me, and I didn't notice it. And what happened was the tape came undone and stuck at the back of the machine. And then I noticed this horrible noise, and what the noise was, was that using it after that, it was scraping against the tape. Once I found the tape in the back of the machine, I just pulled the tape loose, and everything worked fine again. So you need to be aware that when you use tape on your board, you need to make sure that the tape on the board as it comes out is the same as it went in. Now let's discuss our fifth and last lesson. Before I get into what happened next, I need to say that I really like the Silhouette Cameo 5. Enough so that I had purchased a second machine before receiving the refund for the first machine, which abruptly stopped working a week ago after only two months of use. I am sharing what happened because if you choose to purchase the machine, you need to be aware of the series of hoops you will have to jump through in order to get a refund. The Cameo 5 has a one-year warranty. Okay, you can see under here, I have it all plugged in. See up close, bring it up so we can see this. Now I did the test, I unplugged it. I plugged in the power, like you said, step five. Then while I'm holding my finger in, I put the power cord back in and I held it for 10 seconds. Now you can see from the front of the machine, there's nothing happening. I purchased it through an Amazon retailer, and Amazon was the shipper. Turns out that Silhouette does not handle the warranties on machines sold by Amazon retailers, referring me to the reseller. It turns out that the Amazon retailer also does not handle the warranties on machines that are shipped by Amazon, telling me that Amazon was the one responsible for issuing a refund. I purchased the three-year warranty from Amazon, but it turns out that Amazon warranties do not take effect until the product warranty has expired. Bottom line, I was set up to return the machine via UPS. They would pick the machine up once I got it boxed, and once the machine was returned to Amazon, a refund would be issued, which they said could take up to a month. Have I received the refund yet? No, not yet. I have received the new machine, and I am back on track creating wonderful projects with it. I hope this has helped you out. These are not negative. They are lessons learned, and I'm sharing them with you so that you will know how to fix or what to check if you have a problem. Have a great day, Diana.